The Owl and the Pussycat is a famous nonsense poem written by Edward Lear. Lear was an English artist, illustrator, and writer known for his literary nonsense, particularly his limericks and poems. The Owl and the Pussycat was first published in 1871 as part of Lear's collection titled Nonsense Songs, Stories, Botany, and Alphabets. The poem tells the story of an unusual love affair between an owl and a pussycat. Here is the full text of the poem. VB Net. Copy code. The owl and the pussycat went to sea. In a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey, and plenty of money. Wrapped up in a five pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above. And sang to a small guitar. Oh lovely pussy. Oh pussy, my love. What a beautiful pussy you are. You are. You are. What a beautiful pussy you are. Pussy said to the owl, you elegant fowl. How charmingly sweet you sing. Oh let us be married, too long we have tarried. But what shall we do for a ring? They sailed away for a year and a day. To the land where the bong tree grows. And there in a wood a piggy wig stood. With a ring at the end of his nose. His nose. His nose. With a ring at the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling? Your ring said the piggy, I will. So they took it away, and were married next day. By the turkey who lives on the hill. They dined on mince, and slices of quince. Which they ate with a runcible spoon. And hand in hand, on the edge of the sand. They danced by the light of the moon. The moon, the moon. They danced by the light of the moon. The poem is whimsical and has delighted readers of all ages for its charming narrative and playful language. The imaginative love story between the owl and the pussycat, along with Lear's distinctive style, makes it a classic in the genre of nonsense literature. The Owl and the Pussycat is a whimsical nonsense poem by Edward Lear. The story revolves around an owl and a pussycat who embark on a sea voyage in a pea-green boat. They bring honey and money with them and set sail for a year and a day to the land where the bong tree grows. In this magical land, they meet a piggy wig with a ring at the end of his nose. The owl and the pussycat decide to buy the ring from the piggy wig for one shilling and get married by a turkey on a hill. They celebrate their wedding by dining on mince and slices of quince with a runcible spoon, and they dance together on the edge of the sand under the light of the moon. The poem is known for its playful language, imaginative narrative, and nonsensical charm. Here's a line-by-line -line explanation of Edward Lear's The Owl and the Pussycat. The owl and the pussycat went to sea. The owl and the pussycat both characters, set out on a sea voyage. In a beautiful pea-green boat. They travel in a boat that's described as pea-green, a light shade of green. They took some honey, and plenty of money. The owl and the pussycat brought along honey and a significant amount of money. Wrapped up in a five-pound note. Their money was wrapped in a five-pound note, a type of British currency. The owl looked up to the stars above. The owl gazes at the stars in the sky and sang to a small guitar. The owl begins to sing, accompanying himself on a small guitar. Oh lovely pussy, oh pussy, my love. The owl addresses the pussycat affectionately, expressing love. What a beautiful pussy you are, you are, you are. The owl continues praising the pussycat's beauty in a repetitive and playful manner. What a beautiful pussy you are. The owl concludes the expression of admiration for the pussycat. Pussy said to the owl, you elegant fowl. The pussycat responds to the owl, complimenting him as an elegant bird. How charmingly sweet you sing. The pussycat appreciates the owl's sweet singing. Oh let us be married, too long we have tarried. The pussycat proposes marriage, suggesting they've waited long enough. But what shall we do for a ring? The pussycat wonders about the lack of a wedding ring. They sailed away for a year and a day. The owl and the pussycat embark on a voyage that lasts for a year and a day. To the land where the bong tree grows. They journey to a magical land where a bong tree is found. And there in a wood a piggy wig stood. In this land, they encounter a piggy wig, a creature with a ring on its nose. With a ring at the end of his nose, his nose, his nose. The piggy wig is described as having a ring at the end of its nose, repeated for emphasis. With a ring at the end of his nose. Reiteration of the piggy wig's distinctive feature. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling? The owl inquires if the piggy wig is willing to sell the ring for one shilling. Your ring, said the piggy, I will. The piggy wig agrees to sell the ring. So they took it away, and were married next day.
The owl and the pussycat purchase the ring and get married the following day. By the turkey who lives on the hill. Their wedding ceremony is officiated by a turkey residing on a hill. They dined on mince and slices of quince. The newlyweds enjoy a meal consisting of mince, a type of dish, and slices of quince, a fruit, which they ate with a runcible spoon. They use a runcible spoon, a term coined by Lear, which is a fork-like utensil. And hand in hand, on the edge of the sand, the owl and the pussycat stroll hand in hand by the edge of the sand. They danced by the light of the moon, the moon, the moon. The couple dances under the moonlight, and this phrase is repeated for emphasis. They danced by the light of the moon. The poem concludes with the image of the owl and the pussycat dancing happily under the moon. The Owl and the Pussycat, by Edward Lear is a classic example of literary nonsense, characterized by its playful and whimsical language, imaginative characters, and absurd situations. Here are some key aspects to consider in the analysis of the poem. Nonsense and Playful Language Lear employs nonsensical words and playful language throughout the poem, contributing to its charm and humor. Phrases like, pea green boat, runcible spoon, and the repeated lines about the moon add a delightful and whimsical quality to the narrative. Imagery and setting. Lear creates a vivid and fantastical setting for the poem. The idea of sailing to a land where the bong tree grows and encountering a piggy wig with a ring at the end of its nose adds to the sense of wonder and fantasy. Love and marriage. The central theme of the poem is the unconventional love and marriage between the owl and the pussycat. The proposal, the purchase of a wedding ring from a piggy wig, and the marriage ceremony conducted by a turkey on a hill all contribute to a whimsical and nonsensical portrayal of love. Symbolism. The characters and elements in the poem can be seen as symbolic. The owl and the pussycat, traditionally seen as night and day animals respectively, coming together in marriage may symbolize the union of opposites. The piggy wig with the ring may represent a whimsical and unexpected source of unity. Social commentary. Some interpretations suggest that Lear's poem might contain subtle social commentary. The characters defy traditional norms, and the nonsensical elements could be a commentary on the arbitrary and often nonsensical nature of societal expectations and conventions. Rhythm and repetition. The poem is arhythmic quality, and Lear uses repetition for emphasis, such as in the lines praising the beauty of the pussycat or the repeated mention of the moon during the dance. This rhythmic pattern contributes to the musicality of the poem. Influence on children's literature. The Owl and the Pussycat has become a beloved classic in children's literature. Its simple yet imaginative storytelling, along with the playful language, has made it a popular choice for young readers. Lear's contribution to children's literature is significant, and his influence can be seen in subsequent generations of writers and poets. In essence, Lear's poem is a delightful and timeless piece that continues to captivate readers with its whimsy and charm. The nonsensical elements, combined with themes of love and marriage, create a unique and memorable literary experience for audiences of all ages. The Owl and the Pussycat, by Edward Lear explores several themes through its whimsical and nonsensical narrative. Here are some of the prominent themes along with examples from the poem. Love and Romance. Example, the entire poem revolves around the love and romance between the Owl and the Pussycat. The proposal, the journey to get married, and the celebration of their union highlight the theme of love in unconventional and whimsical ways. Nonsense and Fantasy Example, the poem is a classic example of literary nonsense, featuring fantastical elements such as a pea-green boat, a land where the bong tree grows, and a piggy wig with a ring at the end of its nose. These nonsensical elements contribute to the whimsical nature of the narrative. Unity and Harmony Example, the owl and the pussycat come from different backgrounds, an owl and a cat, yet they come together in harmony through marriage. The act of buying a wedding ring from the piggy wig and being married by a turkey on a hill emphasizes the theme of unity despite differences. Adventure and Exploration Example, the journey of the owl and the pussycat on a pea-green boat to a distant land represents the theme of adventure and exploration. The characters embark on a fantastical voyage, adding an adventurous element to the narrative. Unconventionality and Nonconformity Example, the poem challenges traditional norms and expectations associated with love and marriage. The owl and the pussycat don't conform to societal norms, instead, they engage in unconventional behaviors, such as buying a ring from a piggy wig, to express their love. Celebration and Joy Example, the celebration of the wedding with a dinner of mince and slices of quince, 
eaten with a runcible spoon, as well as the joyful dance on the edge of the sand under the moonlight, conveys a theme of celebration and joy associated with love and union. Humor and playfulness. Example. The use of playful language, absurd situations, and whimsical characters contributes to the overall humor in the poem. Phrases like, runcible spoon, and the repetitive praise of the pussycat's beauty add a lighthearted and humorous touch. Creativity and imagination. Example. Lear's imaginative creation of a world where animals like an owl, a pussycat, a piggywig, and a turkey interact in unusual ways showcases the theme of creativity and imagination. The author invites readers to engage with a world where anything is possible. The owl and the pussycat weaves these themes together in a delightful and whimsical manner, making it a timeless piece of literature that appeals to both children and adults. A critical appreciation of The Owl and the Pussycat involves an analysis of its literary qualities, themes, and the impact it has had on readers. Here are some points to consider. Whimsical language and nonsense. One of the remarkable aspects of the poem is Lear's use of whimsical language and literary nonsense. The creation of nonsensical words like runcible spoon and the imaginative descriptions contribute to the playful and charming atmosphere of the poem. Imaginative world building. Lear creates a vivid and imaginative world with fantastical elements, such as a pea green boat, the land where the bong tree grows, and a piggy wig with a ring at the end of its nose. This showcases Lear's ability to transport readers to a whimsical realm. Celebration of unconventional love. The poem celebrates love in an unconventional way. The union of an owl and a pussycat, the purchase of a wedding ring from a piggy wig, and the marriage ceremony conducted by a turkey on a hill challenge traditional norms, offering a unique perspective on love. Rhythmic and musical quality. Lear employs a rhythmic and musical quality in the poem, enhancing its oral and auditory appeal. The repetition of certain phrases, like the praise of the pussycat's beauty and the moonlight dance, adds to the poem's charm and memorability. Symbolism and allegory. Interpretations of the poem may delve into symbolic elements. For instance, the owl and the pussycat coming together may symbolize unity despite differences, and the nonsensical elements could serve as allegories for the arbitrary nature of societal conventions. Impact on children's literature. The owl and the pussycat has become a beloved classic in children's literature. Its simplicity, imaginative storytelling, and playful language have made it accessible to young readers. Lear's contribution to children's literature is significant, and the poem has influenced subsequent generations of writers. Humor and essay tire. The poem is infused with humor, and Lear may be subtly satirizing societal norms and expectations through the absurdity of the situations presented. The nonsensical elements can be seen as a form of satire on conventional wisdom. Universal themes. While the poem may seem lighthearted and whimsical, it touches on universal themes such as love, marriage, and unity. These themes resonate with readers of all ages and contribute to the enduring appeal of the poem. In conclusion, The Owl and the Pussycat is a masterpiece of literary nonsense that combines whimsical language, imaginative storytelling, and unconventional themes. Its impact on literature, especially in the realm of children's literature, attests to its enduring charm and significance. Lear's ability to create a world that is both fantastical and emotionally resonant has solidified the poem's place as a classic in the literary canon. The Owl and the Pussycat, by Edward Lear holds enduring relevance, significance, and a lasting legacy for several reasons. Timeless themes. The themes of love, unity, and celebration explored in the poem are timeless and continue to resonate with readers of all ages. The unconventional love story between the owl and the pussycat, as well as the whimsical celebration of their marriage, remains universally appealing. Children's Literature The poem has become a cornerstone of children's literature. Its playful language, imaginative storytelling, and nonsensical elements make it a beloved piece for young readers. Many generations have grown up with the whimsical tale, and it remains a popular choice for introducing children to the joy of poetry. Contribution to Nonsense Literature Edward Lear is a prominent figure in the genre of literary nonsense, and, The Owl and the Pussycat, is a prime example of his contribution to this genre. The poem's success has contributed to the recognition and appreciation of nonsense literature as a distinct and valuable form of artistic expression. Influence on other works Lear's unique style and approach to storytelling, characterized by imaginative language and absurd situations, have influenced subsequent generations of writers and poets. The legacy of The Owl and the Pussycat can be seen in the works of authors who have drawn inspiration from Lear's whimsical and playful approach. 
Cultural impact. The poem has permeated popular culture through various adaptations, references, and illustrations. It has been featured in numerous anthologies, adapted into animated films, and referenced in various forms of media. The iconic imagery of the owl and the pussycat in a pea green boat has become culturally recognizable. Educational value. The poem is often used in educational settings to teach children about rhyme, rhythm, and the imaginative use of language. Its incorporation of literary devices, such as repetition and alliteration, provides educators with a valuable tool for introducing students to the elements of poetry. Continued enjoyment by readers. Despite the passage of time, The Owl and the Pussycat continues to bring joy to readers of all ages. Its enduring popularity is a testament to the poem's ability to capture the imagination, evoke a sense of wonder, and create a lasting emotional connection with its audience. In summary, the relevance and significance of The Owl and the Pussycat lie in its ability to transcend time, entertain and educate, and contribute to the rich tapestry of children's literature and literary nonsense. Its legacy endures through its continued impact on readers and its influence on the broader literary landscape. Edward Lear, born on May 12, 1812, was an English artist, illustrator, and writer, best known for his contributions to the genre of literary nonsense. Here are some aspects of Edward Lear as a poet. Literary Nonsense Edward Lear is considered a pioneer and master of literary nonsense, a genre characterized by the use of playful and imaginative language, absurd situations, and whimsical characters. His nonsense poetry often features made-up words, peculiar creatures, and fantastical landscapes. Limericks Lear is particularly renowned for popularizing the limerick form in English literature. Limericks are humorous, five-line poems with a distinctive rhythm and rhyme scheme A -A -B -B -A. Many of Lear's limericks became widely known and have influenced subsequent poets. Art and Illustration Lear was not only a poet but also a skilled artist and illustrator. He created his own illustrations for many of his works, including The Owl and the Pussycat. His drawings often featured anthropomorphic characters and reflected his quirky sense of humor. Contributions to Children's Literature Lear made significant contributions to children's literature, creating works that are both entertaining and educational. His nonsensical poems, including The Owl and the Pussycat, have captivated young audiences for generations, introducing them to the joy of language and poetry. Travel Writing In addition to his poetry, Lear was a prolific travel writer. He documented his journeys in various parts of the world, including Italy, Greece, and Albania. His travel writings were well received for their detailed observations, humor, and illustrations. Language and Wordplay Lear's poems often showcase a playful and inventive use of language. He was known for creating new words, blending sounds, and experimenting with linguistic elements. This linguistic creativity contributes to the whimsical and delightful nature of his poetry. Personal Challenges Lear faced personal challenges, including health issues and struggles with depression. Despite these difficulties, he continued to produce works of art and literature. Lear's resilience and creative output in the face of personal challenges add depth to the understanding of his life and work. Legacy Edward Lear's influence extends beyond his lifetime. His legacy can be seen in the continued popularity of his nonsense poetry, especially among children. Many poets and authors, including Lewis Carroll and Dr. Seuss, have acknowledged Lear's impact on their own works. Overall, Edward Lear's contributions to poetry, particularly in the realm of literary nonsense, have left an indelible mark on literature. His whimsical language, inventive wordplay, and ability to create memorable characters have secured his place as a beloved and influential figure in the world of poetry and children's literature.